Well, you know what we say? It's not just the heat, it's the humidity. We're going to continue to feel like close to 100 degrees or better as we go on through the next several days, just depending on your backyard, how much sunshine you get, and, and more importantly, how high the humidity levels go for us here. Stepping out the door this morning right now into the afternoon, it already feels like 100 degrees in New Bern and Havelock, just shy of that in Swansboro, 102 in Greenville. So yeah, this is going to kind of the territory we're going to be in here for the next several days. Actual temperatures about 10 to 12 degrees cooler than that here. Looking at 88 in Swansboro, 86 in Beaufort, coming in at 90 in Kinston, Jacksonville, and Greenville. We have seen a few isolated storms starting to pop here. Holly Ridge, Verona, Dixon area coming up Highway 17 there around the, the turn to go down the Sneeds Ferry. Again, very light, very isolated. 15, 20 minutes, they kind of rain themselves out. And we have been watching a few of them kind of paralleling the coast over towards Harkers Island and down East Carteret County. You'll notice, though, not really a whole lot of cumulus clouds bubbling up further inland right now. It's kind of this moisture that is along the coastal areas at the action is taking place. You'll notice there's lower dew points in the interior areas here like Kinston coming in at a 72 degree dew point or your 77 warm and sultry along the coast and future track does show as we go on through the next several days. We're pretty much not going to see a change in the air mass. In fact, we may even see those dew points go up, especially along the coastal areas at times getting close to that 80 degree mark. Again, very steamy in store for us here. High temperatures today will add a couple more to where we are right now. Again, a slim chance some of those isolated showers or thunder showers on that sea breeze front as it's pressing inland mid to upper 90s for top temperatures today. Steamy as we head overnight tonight. Could there be a little bit of light patchy fog? It's possible, but not going to be all that widespread, kind of like the last couple mornings. High pressure dominates our weather. Now you'll notice this moisture I talked about offshore. It's actually kind of streaming back in. There's an upper level high pressure ridge out towards Bermuda and it's flexing its muscles westbound. And as a result, that is starting to have some of that moisture come from offshore towards us here. There's also that upper disturbance we talked about a couple days ago as far as the Hurricane Center was concerned. Again, said it wasn't going to develop, but it will kind of add to the fuel with the, some of those storms as we head on and through this weekend with this high pressure sliding offshore. There will eventually be a front coming in from the northwest. That comes in later Sunday going into Monday and starts to cool us down a little bit here and bring slightly drier air with it. But until it gets through, we're going to continue with these scattered showers and storm chances for us here. Speaking of the tropics, we are continuing to watch an area over towards the Cabo Verde Islands. Long term progress to the, this might get it about a 40% chance of developing by the early part of next week. Of course, we'll have to keep an eye on that for you, but it doesn't look anything eminent development right now. Again, it looks a lot worse than it truly is on the seven day forecast here. We'll see afternoon isolated showers and thunder showers for the early part of next week as we step those temperatures down. And again, it's going to be afternoon scattered showers and storms for us more so on Sunday than Saturday. We'll have to keep an eye out for for the weekend.